Okay, this is the main thing for us to show. On the left hand side is our tonality reference area for the custom scale 16 Vocaloid scales. And this includes the fully fleshed out chord and their functions. And in particular, here are the subdominants. On the right hand side is Floating World 1, a new composition series that uses those three chords. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Vision and Sound Part 23, Feel Way. In today's episode, we re-entered by reflecting that we are, it feels very much lately that we are feeling our way forward. Um, this title of the series is Com Composing in Vision and Sound, Composing for the New Era. It's, it's the birth of a new era. It extends beyond our lifetimes. Each of us has a role and we're all doing baby sips for now. So we like working with Custom Scale 16 and we've completed the reference score because we've done the Do series and the Vocaloid series and we want to do more. And we realized that it turns out we had only used 11 out of the possible 35 cores. So we went ahead and in today's episode fleshed in all the remaining chords, the tonics, there's nine minor tonics, nine major tonics, three minor subdominants, etc., etc., and a lot of uh, full chords. And that's one of the key insights is in the custom scale 16 format, every chord is either tonic or subdominant. There are no urgy, urgy dominants. There are no clashy, clashy ambivalence. So we decided to make a new theme to compose with. We did Do, we did Vocaloid. Now we have a theme called Floating World. And we made the Floating World one score. And we, one of our reflections when we listened to the work to date is we like the themes. We like the fugue effects, but we would like longer works and more motifs to, to work with. So the Floating the World theme is going to give us uh, the, the, the new theme plus this fully fleshed out set of 35 chords gives us some uh, a kind of a fresh start, we feel. So what we're going to do is play for you this very short Floating World 1, and uh, that will bring us home. So that ends today's episode. <laughs> what we like about Floating World 1 is is this kind of funky, fast arpeggio scheme we came up with that's so funky that we, it's triplets, basically. So we ended up doing a 9-8 time signature that we experimented before we landed on that. And uh, also the kind of, we call it a ramp up, ramp up, ramp down, ramp down, but kind of the meta is an arc up uh, where we start low and, and high with high stuff in the middle. Any event, um, we also like, we feel like we could, we could cherry pick from some of these, like anyway, that's the goal to generate new stuff that sounds cool. So our ideas for next time are to continue working with the floating world. Uh, for example, the score you just listened to is only a subdominant chord. So we could also make a score number two that only has tonic chords. And then we could also make more figures, it will come interim figures, you know, these fast stuff with which to compose. Shout outs to Miss Cleo who came back to bring us some new inspiration and theme wrestler who gives us the fortitude to work with the new material. Tune in next time to see what happens.
do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.